For me, it's about the law and people. I just need facts, okay? Yeah, okay? Just facts. And how people can resolve their problems and just be better for it. Justice with passion. I always knew I was going to go into law because I tried to see everybody's point of view in an argument. And I encouraged people to talk to each other to try to resolve their problems. Justice with truth. Do not waste your time and do not waste mine. This is Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Wendy Lutz is suing Candace Tower in the amount of $563. Ms. Lutz claims Ms. Tower ruined her trip to her parents' golden anniversary party and says it was the defendant's excessive complaining that delayed them. Ms. Tower is countersuing for $230. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon, I understand George. you two went on a road trip. Yes. yes. And it did not turn out to be a positive experience. No. Nope. No. So do you want to start, Miss Lotz? You are suing your friend, Miss Tower, for $563. Is that correct? I am. And you are countersuing for $230. Yes. All right. So go ahead, Miss Lotz. Why don't you start? Well, I'm here today suing my friend Candace for $563 because she completely ruined my road trip, as well as my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. Wow, 50th, that's, that's, that's a huge event, right? Yes. So the road trip, obviously, was to attend your parents' party, right? right? So why did you ask uh, Ms. Tower to go with you? Give me those details. And well, what we've been happened? friends for five years. I love Ms. Candace as my little sister. Uh, and you were traveling from where to where? We were traveling from Chicago to Atlanta. It was a 12 hour trip. Ooh, that's a long trip. Yes, it was. So I offered to handle all the necessities for the road trip, the gas, the food. Did you have enough time to get to your parents' house? Did you leave with enough time? I left with enough time, but it didn't turn out that way. Okay, what happened? Well, Mrs. Towers completely went crazy. She complained that I was talking on my phone while driving. Were I would you? never do that. Okay. I had my Bluetooth connected okay. and I didn't do that. Okay. And she complained about me not paying her attention and paying more attention to the road. And That's not true, Your Things Honor. like that. Mm -hmm. and That's not true. It's true, Your Honor. I would never do that. Then she started actually banging on my window, my car window. Why? While I'm driving and yelling at the trespassing by. Are the trucks driving by? The trucks passing by, cars passing by, she's yelling at them, telling them to stop. I didn't know what that was, what was coming from. You tell her the okay, reason why. And, and when, when all of this was happening, did, did you ask her, are you okay, Candace? Yes, what she can assured I do me she you? was. Okay. No. I thought she was, no. until she grabbed my steering wheel, and we mm -hmm. almost had a terrible accident. You grabbed her steering wheel? Yes, Your Honor. I grabbed her steering wheel. You and grabbed her steering I, wheel? I grabbed her steering wheel because I was having a literal episode. But, but, I was, but, 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 but why would you grab her steering wheel? That's it was, so dangerous. I witnessed... I witnessed with, like her. I literally saw her like just not paying attention to the road. She's swerving. We're like really this close to hitting the 18 wheeler. And I grabbed the wheel because she's supposed to be turning off into the right, and her wheel is veering off to the left. So yes, I grabbed the wheel so that way she can get back on track. She caught an attitude with me about that. But you have no business touching the the, the steering wheel while she's driving. That is so dangerous. I can only imagine the things that could have happened to you guys. Well. How did you react when she grabbed your steering wheel? I was in total shock, Your Honor. On top of that, I was scared. Uh, Were you really driving really close to the 18 wheel? Absolutely not. Did you miss yes. your, your I'm a perfect exit? driver, Your Honor. Candace knows that. Okay. And I pulled over. So you pulled over. And we had a discussion. Over. You pulled over, and what and happened? I asked her what was going on, what was wrong. i never seen her like this before. And she w explained to me that she was having an anxiety attack. I didn't know that prior to this trip. Had I known that? Why was she having it? Was this something new that you had experienced with Candace? How long have you been friends with her? Five years. And never once did you experience her having an anxiety attack? Never once. Attack? So did you ask her what's going on? Yes, Tell me I did. why are you having an anxiety attack? Yes. What What did she respond? How did she respond? She told me that she had an she had an actual anxiety attack issue prior to our road trip, and she would have a, a phone call to her therapist to calm her down for a minute until we can be able to proceed with our road trip. Did she explain to you why she was having an anxiety? No, attack? she did not. Yes, I did, Your Honor. Okay, why were you having an anxiety attack? I was having an anxiety attack because, like, I, I do suffer from anxiety. And it did get 
the best of me while we were on the road because while we're driving, she's t on the phone talking. She's not even really driving with her hands at some points. Like she's driving with her knees. We're getting close to 18 wheelers. She's, I'm asking her like, can you pay attention to the road? Do you need me to drive? She's like, no, no, I got it. I got it. And she's like totally not paying attention. And this is what caused me to get so upset and also grab the wheel because like I said, it was veering off from where we were actually supposed to go. She's not paying attention. She's arguing on the phone with some random person. I'm like, these conversations can How long were you on wait. the phone with? I was on my Bluetooth and I was on the phone momentarily. She was actually just rolling her window down, yelling out the window. Coming up on Justice For All. She went off on me and acted a fool in front of my whole family and my parents at our party. What did she do? Yelled and screamed and hollered in front of them as if I'm her child. We're back with the case of Wendy Lotz, who is suing Candace Tower for travel expenses. She was doing, making more noise and a problem so how many times than was she I was. She was on the phone for about, I'd say 45% of the drive. 45% of the drive. That's true, Your Honor. Did you bring your cell phone records so I could see if you were on the phone? I don't have that my time? cell phone records, but was I can she guarantee holding you I wasn't phone? on the phone. Was she holding the phone? She had the phone in her lap, so sometimes like she would have to like make it like stay on her lap, because sometimes it would slide. So but she did, would like take two, one hand. Two and, hands on the steering wheel? Not all, not the entire time. No. One hand on the steering yes. wheel? Yes, that's, well, that's absolutely normal. not true. I mean, people drive with one hand. Yeah, was she using her Bluetooth? She was using it at first, but because of privacy, she was having a private conversation. She took it off of Bluetooth and like she was holding it on her ear, and Were then driving, she was fumbling the for she kept a Bluetooth yelling situation. The whole trip. No, I couldn't hear my phone. Were call. you holding the phone no, while I was driving? Not. No, Did you have your ear things on? I had my Bluetooth hooked up to the phone. There's I see. The she had connected. I see. First it was a speaker, and then you just put it back in. Like, did you have like an ear? No, the speaker you can put hook it up to the radio, and you hear it all over the car. She didn't like that, so she complained. Okay. And, and I see. Okay. And then what did you do after that? After that, I put over. And I wanted to discuss what was going on with her, and she told me nothing, I'll be fine. We decided to get a hotel room and stay the night and start over in the morning. And you agreed yeah. to do that? I was the one that suggested it because I could Did you have take enough time to get to your further. mom's house? Your mm, parents I was party? three hours late. No, if you spend the night, would you still have enough time in the morning to get to the party on time? To your parents' party? It would take eight hours still. Okay, but you still had time? Not, not necessarily. Okay, but no. you still decided to take the risk and spend the night and for leave her, in the morning? For you her leave? concerns, yes okay. I did. And then what time did you leave? We left 8 o'clock that morning. Uh-huh. And did you, and what happened on the second part of the road trip? <laughs> that morning she instructed me again that she just could not get back in the vehicle. Okay. Made me think she was okay until that morning. And it was another argument ensued, but she agreed to go ahead with the road trip. Okay, and, and then what did. happened? It was completely okay, but she still acted up again. Your Honor. Hmm. And to then what time did you make it to your parents? We made it. Three hours late. Okay. Wow. And she continued to make a scene. Okay. Okay. Why didn't you just leave her at the hotel and go to your parents? I suggested that. And why didn't you do that? I mean, it's your parents' 15th wedding anniversary. 15th you know, wedding anniversary. I, I wouldn't miss that. She refused. But it's, she, does she does not control you. You could have le left. I could have left. I didn't want to leave my friend. I understand that, but me. it's your car. And... She knew you were going to your parents' 50th wedding uh, anniversary, so she could have understood. Yes. Right? She could have, but I don't think she did. So but my, my thing is that there was a way for you to mitigate your damages. You could have left. Absolutely. Right? You I could, could have, have left and made it to your parents' house. Yes, I could right? have. Yes. If you left at 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, you could have still made it. I was going to make it, but not on time. It's a, it's a party. It's an anniversary. Uh, they were expecting us to be there at a certain time, and I wasn't there at that time. I understand that. Because of Candace's needs. Your Honor, I suggested that I stay at the rest stop, and she was insisting that she takes me along. And I'm like, well, I don't feel comfortable being in a car. We could have alleviated the second half of the trip. But you knew that she was going to her parents' 50th uh, wedding anniversary. Yes, but I didn't Why didn't you tell her, leave me here, I will fly home? 
I told her that because at that point I didn't want to be in the car with her anymore. So I, why didn't you? Safe. Why did you? Why did you decide to go in the car with her if you did not trust her driving? Number the one. The first half. Why did you not tell her you suffered from anxiety on long road trips? Well, I don't suffer from anxiety on long road trips. I do, however, suffer from anxiety when somebody's not paying attention to the road and making it feel okay. like you're See, about to crash. See, that's the problem. You say one thing, she says another. So who am I to believe, right? Because you paint a pretty picture and so does she. I'm the calm one. I, of course, I wasn't doing that. Yes, I was on the Bluetooth. She grabbed my steering wheel. She wasn't paying attention. She was talking on the phone. She almost hit an 18-wheeler. She missed the, uh, the, the exit. Um, then she says you were yelling at, at, at rolling down your window, yelling at trucks. Was that true? Were you yelling at trucks? That was true because Why I, were you yelling at trucks? Because I'm just like, if she's not going to listen to me, maybe the trucks will. Because she's not paying attention to anything I'm saying. I'm telling her, please get off the phone. Focus on the road. Do you need me to drive? And at that point, she's like making a, making a joke <clears throat> of it. And she's like laughing. And I'm like, are you serious right now? Trucks, can you move out of the way for this lady to get through? Yes, I did. I basically had a whole meltdown and she's making fun of it because apparently not understanding anxiety caused her to think that it's like not such so a big deal. So you were having an anxiety attack. I was definitely having an anxiety okay. attack midway right. into that trip. Okay. All right. So um, what else, Ms. Lotz? Well, on top of her anxiety attack that was unexpected and she didn't inform me of it prior to this anxiety. trip, she went off on me and acted a fool in front of my whole family and my parents at our party. What did she do? Yelled and screamed and hollered in front of them as if I'm her child. Coming up on Justice For All. Can you take me to the airport? She said, no, I'm not taking you to no. the airport. You go get an Uber. Why would she take you to the airport? She finally gets to her parents' 50th wedding anniversary party. And now you expect her to take her to the, to the airport and miss more of the party? We're back with the case of Wendy Lotz, who is suing Candace Tower for travel expenses. She, she told me she was ready to go, she didn't care anything about the party, and she needed to be somewhere away from me. That's not true. Like I did anything to her. I haven't done anything to my friend at all. Okay, and what did you do? I gave her an option to catch an Uber and go to the airport. Mm-hmm. And by then I had enough. Okay. And did you take an Uber and go to the airport? I did, but I actually, the reason why we ended up having a whole really situation... Did you really yell at her like that in front of her family? I did only after this entire situation got to this point. I asked her, as soon as we got there, I'm like, hey, I, I don't really actually want to stay. I don't feel like I'm going to be a good guest. Can you take me to the airport? She said, no, I'm not taking you no. to the airport. You go get an Uber. Why would she take you to the airport? She finally gets to her parents' 50th wedding anniversary party. And now you expect her to take her to the, to the airport and miss more of the party? My personal feeling on it was we would have never had to My stay in the... My personal feeling on, was on it is that you should have never gone on this road trip with her. And, and you should have been more considerate. You knew she was going to her parents' Once in a lifetime, 50th wedding anniversary. And I, and I, what made you so special to tell her to leave her parents' party after she's late because of you, for her to take you to the airport? She's Why late wouldn't you say, of "Hey, listen, Wendy, I'm glad you're here. It was a mess. I hated how you drove. I hated everything you did. You gave me an anxiety attack, but I am leaving. I will see you back in wherever." And that's exactly what I did after. No, you a, asked her to afterwards. take her to the airport. After she told me, no, you can go get an Uber. And let's just be clear. Like, the reason why we ended up having to stay in a hotel to begin with was because the way that she was driving. Which she won't admit, I, and that's not, fine. I, I, but, I don't know. Yes. You know, I've done this long enough to kind of get a sense of what the truth is and what the truth is not. And I kind of don't believe you. Coming up. I understand, but the thing is, you did promise to uh, pay for everything. Right? I didn't say hotel. Huh? I didn't say hotel. We're back with the case of Wendy Lotz, who is suing Candace Tower for travel expenses. Did she get a ticket? Did she get into an accident? Close. Okay. We were close do to we, getting into we, an accident. Never. So what proof do I have? She said she did not, that she drove perfectly fine. Yes. No, she did not. She, and I would have right. never gotten in the Why car with her had I known. You still got to where you were going. 
I felt like she should give me half because she ruined it. I would have been if it been okay for me to pay for her total payment. I got if it. she acted like she wanted to be on my road trip on our road trip together. I've done. I, under, I understand, but the thing is, you did promise to uh, pay for everything. Right? I didn't say hotel. Huh? I didn't say hotel. Okay. Well, then, did you ask her for half of the hotel back? Yes, I did. And how much was no, the hotel? She did not. The hotel was the total balance. Due is four twenty six. From the hotel? Yes. She's a hotel manager, she gets a discount. She did not ask me for four hundred and twenty six dollars from one night at a hotel? It's a balance due, yes. And that's apart from the five hundred and sixty three dollars? It's more. No, the no. grocery store? The, the, I, I, the 563 is all the, the total of the, what it cost you. But the $400 for the hotel was separate? She didn't even yes. Get part of the store, sir. Right? Yes. Okay, can I see the hotel bill only? You know, Ms. Lotz, you also have the power within you to drop her off somewhere and say, "Go, I'm leaving, I'm not getting late to my parents' party. I almost did, water. but I would never do my friend like that. Anything else, uh, Ms. Tara, that you'd like to uh, you'd like to say? Can I just say that I've done road trips with friends before. I took a trip from Chicago to New York. I was completely fine in the car with my friends. It wasn't until I got in the car with Wendy that this literally... You've known her for how long? Five years. Five years. You've we've been in never, the car with her before. We've never gone on long road trips But you've together. been in the car with her before? Yes. All right. That's and all I need to know. Judge Perez's verdict when justice for all returns. Miss Tower, you agreed to go on this on this on this road trip with her. You knew it was 12 hours. You knew you knew Wendy before. I think you knew exactly what you were getting into. I think you acted unreasonably. Um, and uh, you should have told her that you wanted to go home a lot more. You can shake your head, but unfortunately, this is what I'm deciding. So I will deny your counter suit for $230, and um, I will deny your, your, your suit for $563. However, what I will do is that I will bring into evidence the hotel bill for $426 that you decided last minute uh, to book, and I think you both are responsible for that. So. Uh, that is $426, and I think what's even, what is fair, is that the defendant pay you half of that, which is $213. So based on the evidence, I will grant the plaintiff's claim in part only in the value of the hotel, half of the hotel fee, which is $213. Good luck, ladies. Thank you. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $213. I don't ever want to have another road trip with her again, but she's still my friend. To mock someone's mental health and then to blatantly disregard how they're feeling at the time, that was just, that's just not okay. Okay, thank you.